Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone Welcome to the English Language Association As you all know, I'm Sir Shafiq I'm one of the advisory board members for this association On behalf of the other teachers, I say welcome I hope all of you would be able to participate in giving ideas, in sharing useful information and also take part in many activities to come Now, I would also like to mention that in ELA, we encourage all of you to share useful information about the English language. However, you have to remember that for every information that you share, it must be related to the English language only. Again, no conspiracy theories. You are fake news. No politics. I have numbers. <laughs> It's convincing. And no promoting any kind of products here as well. Okay, please make sure it is very related to the English language. Okay, I hope you all follow that instructions to the letter. To start, let me offer all of you some trivia about the English language that some of you may not know. The English language is one language, but it has several main variations around the world. Noticeably, there are two main variations of the English language, which are the American and, he's a yank. and the British English, as the British people would say, Queen's English. The Queen's English. If you haven't realized it yet, some words and phrases are different but has the same meaning between the two variations. For example, the Americans would say ruang pejalan kaki as sidewalk. sidewalk, sidewalk. While the Brits, short for British, would call them pavement. Pavement. So they can't work, work with pavement, so they've changed it to sidewalk. Also, the American would understand the word pavement, but they understand it as the surface of the road, while the Brits called the surface of the road as tarmac. I mean, it's really simple. Close the road, slap some new tarmac on it. The English language is the language of the air. Why? Because all pilots have to communicate with the air traffic control in English, regardless of their origin. Mind you, this is not the announcement that the pilot makes with air. Good afternoon, this is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Not that, it's this one. Right, and you're in 0210 request, please back and stop. Captain uh, The pilots have to use the English language to communicate because it has been agreed internationally by every country in the world. Did you all know that there is a word in the English language dictionary that was considered a ghost word? Why? Because there is a word in the dictionary that was printed but it doesn't have any real meaning. That ghost word is dot. D-O-R-D, dot. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the word dot was accidentally included in the dictionary as a synonym for density. However, it doesn't have any etymology or the origin of the word and it also doesn't have any example in usage. In other words, it's meaningless. How did this happen? How did this happen? <laughs> Apparently, there was a mix-up between the people who were collecting the words to be put into the dictionary along with the editors who were reviewing it in the year 1939. There you have it guys, some trivia about the English language. I hope that you learned a thing or two from this video. That's it for now. Until next time, bye-bye.